Hi again. Uh, our trading idea for today will be regarding indices and it won't be a long term one. It is a short term one. I'm trading actually futures um, almost every day and I trade um, uh, NASDAQ, um, S&P and uh, the Dow index. So um, as I said, these are futures. So if you are trading uh, the normal spot uh, index, like maybe um, NASDAQ or so, you will look at uh, spot one. It's maybe this one here. It, you know, it's, this is future, maybe something like that. So it's the same idea, uh, but uh, the price will be a little bit different as you can see here it's like 18,675 while it's here it's different so i think today um i did my last uh buy trade uh, actually i uh i choose all uh, every day i choose the best setup um on one of these indices and today i entered my buy on the dough because i had this gap here and i had this beautiful um, um mitigating of this uh, fair value gap and this order block and it was exactly at um after the open maybe or exactly at the open 15 30 and i entered this buy and actually i did the mistake i exited actually very good i uh, on the exit i um i had a very good exit but i thought that we are still going up so i entered another buy here on this order block with the expectation that we are still going up and this was uh, my trap to be honest i saw this candle a uh, green candle uh, look um which looked like it would be a reversal and i entered here and of course i got liquidated um as you can also see here we have not only liquidated um this demand zone we also broke this structure and we also broke this last structure and we have a candle close on 15 minutes short i think right now we are going up but i don't think that we are going to break this order block i think this as i said before today was the last buying day and we are going to sell from here this is looks like a very good entry for me that's the 15 minutes gap also we can look at gaps on the other side which is on the buy side i which is also i bought here <laughs> while expecting price to continue going up but it reversed so normally this is also a very good reversal um, uh, entry zone for the selling of this index and we can also look at higher time frames and we will find that this is also a fair value gap on one hours, one hour chart. And another confirmation is if we look at higher time frames, maybe four hours chart, we will see a very good um, divergence here between the index uh, and the uh, relative strengths. Uh, uh, the RSI, which is the, the relative strength index, and it's not only on the um, DO, we can find it also here. In this, um, this is the SP, so I won't enter a sell here because, as you can see here, we have a very clean uh, double tops. I don't like clean double, double tops because there is always uh, liquidity above. Uh, which is um, always a target for institutions to take before going down. Sometimes they don't take it, but uh, I don't like uh, being um, in this area here. 
um, under uh, double tops. I can also enter here because here we have a very good uh, setup also with this breaking the structure to the above and then reversing and going down. Um, we still, uh, it is also still valid that we still are going up. But I think, as I said before, I think the, this is just a trap for uh, the buyers. Uh, it can also be, of course, a trap for the sellers, but I think um, it's a trap for the buyers. Uh, my entry will be, on, as I said before, I always choose the best setup. This one is very good, which is on NASDAQ, but uh, it doesn't have gaps. And I like fair value gaps. And um, actually, you can enter right now on the NASDAQ while on um, the door, you have to wait. And also on the NASDAQ, we may get a reaction also from this PPR on buying side. So it actually may continue to the, up, uh, to the upside, but after uh, maybe giving us a reaction to this area here, which is also a very good trade, taking it from uh, the 0.38 to maybe 2.2 or 2.6 extension level, which is here is the order block. So that's why uh, I prefer the DOE because we don't have uh, any support lift on the uh, DOE. Here we have this support lift that may um, actually take price up again. But on the DOE, actually, we don't have any support lift because we broke this one here. And I think our next target will be here which will give us a very good risk to reward ratio if it worked as expected. Taking price from here or here to, <clears throat> to the extension level of 2.2 or 2.2. Uh, um, we also have this gap here. So it, uh, uh, I say that it will it'll be, it will be a maybe a short term one, a short term trade. Uh, maybe we still are going up uh, after uh, mitigating these order blocks or gaps. But we also, as I said before, we have a very good uh, confirmation on the higher time frames regarding the relative strength index and. If we look at also a very a bigger picture, maybe on one daily uh, daily chart, remove drawings, we will see a very interesting point here, which that we hit this order block. Actually, that's why we may see a lot of selling on the next days. Nasdaq. It also broke this high, and after that, we may see, as I said before, ceiling. Minimum target will be here, or maybe the trend line, but actually I expect the trend line maybe to be broken. And also on the S&P, we broke this. Resistance, spring, retest, we couldn't even um, close above this uh, resistance. Uh, as I said before, we have a very clean double tops here, which is something that I don't actually prefer, but actually it also may work very well. But we have, as I said, better setups on other indices. That's it for today. Follow for more.